Early code practice question. Uh, in this video, there are two goals. The first goal is to see how to solve this problem. So we are going to find the solution uh, and then we are going to do some coding work. And the second goal is to see how it should behave in a real interview. So let's get started. So remember in the real interview, the first step is always try to understand the problem. If there is anything unclear, please bring up the question to the interviewer. At the same time, think about some ash cases. So let's take a look at this question. It's called basic calculator. So given the string s representing an impression, implement the basic calculator to evaluate it. So example one, s is equal to one plus one. So we are going to return two. Similarly, this one returns three. And this one returns uh, 23. So that makes sense. Um, so it says the length of the string is going to be within one to uh, 300k. So for sure, there's no uh, empty string. And S only consists of the digits plus minus uh, open closing parentheses and uh, space. So S represents a valid expression. Okay, so that's half, that helps a lot. So we don't need to consider uh, those edge cases, I think. So the next, step, the next step is about finding a solution. So how to solve this problem? So usually for this kind of problem, uh, my first impression is this is a stack problem. So let's see if it is apply, uh, applicable to use um, stack to solve this problem, how specifically we are going to use stack. So let's say for this one, um, we don't touch any stack. Uh, we don't need to touch any stack. So when we touch stack, usually it is, uh, we encounter the open closing parentheses. So let's say uh, when we encounter a number, uh, so when we encounter a number, we just uh, record the number and uh, add up into the corresponding result. And for the plus minus, uh, we keep it as a sign. And when we encounter the open parentheses, let's say we just uh, add the current results into the stack, and also we add the current sign to the stack. And when we encounter a closing parentheses, uh, we, uh, we have the current results, which is the expression within the parentheses. And we know the, the sign which is the top element within the stack. So we just uh, dump the sign and get the result and, the, and also plus the previous result we have. So for example, let me give you an example to explain what I'm, I was talking about. So let's say it is one minus um, two plus three. So first of all, we have result as one and uh, sign, sign as plus. Let's use sign as one or minus one. And then when you encounter the, the, the minus, then we change the sign to be uh, minus. And when we encounter the open parentheses, so we are going to put the result into the, uh, into the, st into the stack and also the sign into the stack. So the top element is on the right side, which is here. And then we are going to set the rest as zero and uh, assign as zero as well. So here uh, we will s we will have the result as two, and then next time we see the plus, we have the sign as one. Uh, so now we have sign as one, and we have another number which is three. So then we are going to add on top of the result, which we will have five now. And when we encounter the closing parentheses, it's time for us to pop the, the sign uh, first. So the sign is minus one, which means we should turn this five into minus five. So it is minus five, and then the top, uh, and then after we pop the sign, the top element was a previous result, which is um, positive one, we are just uh, going to add positive one on top of the, the current uh, partial result. So finally, we are going to return minus four um, as a return result. So essentially, that's how we are going to solve this problem. 
uh, v is a stack uh, when it is open parenthesis uh, we push the result and push the sign when it is closing parenthesis we pop the sign pop the result and do the calculation so the runtime and space uh, both are going to be open and is uh, the length of the string so let's do some um, coding on top of this question so for coding we care about the correctness the readability and of course the speed so let's give it a shot um, um, so let's see first of all we need to define the result so let's say it is uh, zero and let's start the sign as positive one and then this is a uh, one pass through the string i is equal to zero i is uh, smaller than s dot length um, and then we plus plus i so uh, car c is equal to s dot car at uh, i so we are going to switch um, c so if it is a uh, I think it's not switch um, because when we encounter this a, a number, we need to keep going through it until we had we get the whole number there. Okay, so let's see. Um, if it is uh, c is equal to plus, then we are going to say sine uh, is equal to one else if uh, c is uh, equal to minus then sign is equal to minus one and uh, else if um, uh, character dot is digit if it is a digit uh, then we are going to say uh, okay uh, int num as equal to uh, hmm, let's see how to do that so if it is a digit uh, then it means we need to get a number for it so int sum uh, sorry int num is equal to uh, c minus uh, zero well i is smaller than s dot lens and the uh, character dot is digit uh, c then we are going to uh, have num okay so we don't really need to have this here so we initialize it, it as zero we have num times equal to 10 and num plus equal to uh, um, c so you have this would be c uh, c uh, sorry um, equal to s dot car at uh, i so while it is true okay so let's see so c is equal to this while it is true um we are going to have uh, c minus uh, zero plus equal to c minus zero all right so at the end it is supposed we arrive at the end of the string or it is the last uh, digit um is the last uh, is the next index of the last digit because we have the minus sorry we have the plus plus i here so we just need to minus minus i here okay so another possibility is we have um it is open parenthesis that is uh, uh, it is c is equal to open parenthesis if yes uh, we we need to define a stack here so let's say this is an integer stack uh, stack uh, is equal to stack 
So if it is an open parenthesis, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, add uh, the uh, the result into it, and we are going to also add uh, the sign into it. And then we are going to set the result to be zero. And the uh, sign is equal to uh, one. Otherwise, um, if it is a closing parenthesis, then what we need to do is uh, we will need to have uh, the results times equal to stack dot pop and the results uh, plus equal to stack dot. Uh, I think do we have the pop? Yes, it is. Yeah, so this that's it and finally um, we should um, we should return result. yeah so that's uh, pretty much it let's go through a very simple example to explain how this piece of code is gonna work so it's gonna be part of the interview uh, you go through a simple test case uh, do some sanity check uh, and also fix a bug explain how this piece of code is gonna work so let's use something simple let's say one this one minus uh, two uh, minus three so it's going to uh, so first of all when it is one uh, we are let's say 12 because this character is a digit, so initialize num is zero. Uh, so first of all, num times equal to ten and the plus equal to one, so num is equal to one now. It's the next one. Okay, so we need to plus plus i here. Uh, yeah. So then. Uh, we are actually doing something not that good. So actually, it should be something like this. Well, it is. Uh, smaller. Uh, no. So let's see. Let's have another thing here. Um, j is equal to i j is smaller than s dot less and um, character character that is uh, digit s dot car at uh, j and this is um, plus plus j so we are going to have num times equal to 10 and num plus equal to um, s dot car at uh, j minus zero. And finally, we are supposed to have uh, and j i is equal to j, I would say. And finally, when it is out of the range, we don't need to uh, minus minus the i here, right? Yeah, so and finally, I think we don't need to do that. And if it is a digit, we need to have uh, res plus equal to uh, sign times um, num. Yep. So let's see. First of all, when the first character is one, and then when it is the second character, uh, it's also digit. Uh, we are going to have uh, num as equal to twelve, and i is equal to uh, one here. And then, af and then after that, we are going to have i is pointing to the next, which is a negative sign. So the sign now, and, and by the way, rest is equal to 12 at this moment. 
and now sine is equal to minus 1. And then next time, when it is an open parenthesis, we are going to have the stack to have the rest inserted, to have uh, the to have the sign inserted, which is minus one. And then the rest is equal to zero, uh, and sign is equal to one now. And then we move to here. We have the num is two. Um, so rest plus equal to uh, 1 times 2, which is 2. And for the next time, when it is uh, this minus, we are going to change the sign to be minus 1. And then when it arrives at the next number, we have a uh, 3 for the num. And due to the sign, which is negative, we have minus 3. So we have rest as 2 minus 3, which is minus 1 now. And then we encounter the uh, closing parentheses. We dump the minus one, which is a sign. So we are going to say this is mi minus one times uh, minus one. And then it is so it is one and the plus the twelve. So we are having uh, result as thirteen finally. So I think it looks good. Uh, let's uh, do some. Uh, give it a shot by. Okay. So, okay. So it's new stack. So typo here um, let's see okay so now it looks good uh, let's uh, use this one so let's see let's say if it is this it's going to work for that okay so it seems like it's good let's uh, do some mission all right so everything works here and that's it for this coding question and about the solution so if you have any question about the solution or uh, about anything, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.